Got to go. Can't wait to see once fully upload it. Good luck with the rest. Thanks, Meteor. Uh, I'm going to upload the whole thing. I'm going to do highlights. I've, I've realized that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do highlights of the stream. Easy peasy. Now let's go find some more puzzles. No. No. Let's not find any more puzzles. Let's not. All right, let's see. We need to go find the cat. We need to go find the cat. That's our priority. We better get back to searching for Claudia, Professor. Oh, is he trying to tell me we have... Oh, okay. I'm about to say he's going to force us to go to the inn. All right, we've uh we've we've already checked in at the inn, so let's continue westward from here. This man who looks like he's robbing himself. Oh, I just about had it this time. I think I'm going to explode like a water balloon filled with rage. What's that? Oh, my God. <coughs> Even that woman's voice messed me up. <laughs> What's that? Why am I angry, you ask? Why am I angry? Lend an ear, will you, guy? There's these three bozos in town. They We just can't stand each other. It's so bad that none of us... One us oh this is gonna be a puzzle. I already see it. It's so bad that none of us wanna see each other's ugly mugs. But same as theory ain't a big place, right? Sometimes we cross paths on the way to work and just like that, bam! Time for a screaming match. I sure do wish we could find a way to keep from bumping into each other in the mornings. Hang on now. You look like you got a good head on your shoulders. Do a guy a favor and help me with this. Puzzle number 20, Unfriendly Neighbors. Actually, I think this one, a puzzle like this one, was in Leighton versus Wright. Something similar, at least. Draw a path between one man's home and his work by connecting the matching blocks. The catch is that these men can't stand each other, so you have to make sure that none of the paths touch. To make a path, all you need to do is tap a block and start drawing. Okay, so A needs to get to A, B needs to get to B, C needs to get to C, D needs to get to D, and none of them can cross. All right. Challenge accepted. Let's go. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so if we have B, if we have B go this way, D go down here. Dang, we can't have A and C go then, can we? A can go up this way, but then C can't go. Yes, it can. No, it can't. Damn, close. I was close. I was close. I almost had it all in one shot. Let me see. C can go. If C goes this way, nope, that's not what I said at all. There we go. If C goes this way, nah, it's too complex. B, B can't go around. B can't go around because then it blocks A and D all. A can go this way. C. Mm -mm. Let me see. Let's do D and B first. Damn it. Nope. Can't go that way. Okay. D can't go. Let me see. If B goes around, C can't go. If C can go. Uh-uh. As simple as that. B can't go around. B can't go around. B has to go. The simplest path, B has to go this way. A. Uh, A can't go up that way because it blocks C. We need to do D next. 
D. Let's see. C can go here. Uh-uh. C can't go that way. And then there's nowhere for A to go. A is now locked out. So let's see. What if we undid B? We have A go here. But now B can't get to B. So it can't be that one. B. Let's see now. A. C. Let's see how. Oh, did I do it? D. I didn't get it. B is locked off. How can I get B and D? What if we get rid of A for a second? D this way. A? Hey, I figured it out. I found it. I found it. <laughs> Luke, did it. My answer. That was dope. That was dope. Thinking is the key to success. That was a good one. Now the guys don't even have to look at each other. Yeah, they don't have to look at each other, but look at the path that D has to take to get to work. Oh, it shows that there's two different ways to do it. One. Three different ways, really. Dope. That's dope. Aw, oh, thanks a million, guy. I can finally get to work without blowing my stack. I really mean it, Pally. You're a lot smarter than you look. Well, oh yeah, let me clue you in. See that big old mess of a tower beyond the town square? Take a tip from me. If you know what's good for you, you'll stay away from that thing. Well, right now, right then, I'm off. Thanks again, buddy. We got a strange gizmo. Dope. Yo, let's go find this cat. Let's go find this cat. It's a restaurant right here. Oh, Lord. Oh, look, Professor. I found a hidden puzzle. Puzzle 111. Mystery item. 40 pick rats. Here we go. Oh, no. It's another match puzzle. I hate everything. I hate everything. One of the four shapes below has one less match than the rest of them. While studying these four small shapes, your friend approaches you with the riddle. He's clearly not my friend. He's clearly not my friend. I'm thinking of, a, of something that is necessary for human life. It appears in just about every house you've ever visited and decreases in amount gradually the longer it is around. What am I thinking of? Like I said, not my friend. Move one match in the picture to form your answer to your friend's puzzle. So what it wants me to... Oh, I know this one already. I know this one already. No, I don't. Never mind. Never mind. Um, What I'm thinking it wants me to do is move one... Not remove it, but move it. So that it spells something. What I thought it was is door. Doors aren't necessary for human life. That's silly. Food! It's food! Is it food? How can I move this? Oh, yeah! Here we go! Bam! Did this one... Looks like pood. Yeah. Ladies apprentice, save the day. I'm good. <laughs> That's right. The answer is food. Make sure you visit the grocery store before you run out of snacks. Ha ha ha. That was clever. I wish all puzzles were this easy. Me too, fam. Especially match puzzles. Those are those are torture. I'm sorry to trouble you, madam, but have you seen a white cat run by? A white cat? Oh, yes. It ran over that way towards the park. 
And may I ask, what are you planning on doing with it once you find it? We are going to take it back to Lady Dahlia. It's her cat, and she asked us to bring it back to her. Ah, uh, and you're going to try to catch that cat barehanded? Oh, good heavens. That's a bit naive, don't you think? Listen here, cats love treats, so try luring it over with some food. What do you suggest? I've got some old fish bones around here that I'm sure the little thing would go wild over. I'd be happy to give them to you if you solve this puzzle for me. Come on! <laughs> Come on! I thought she was just gonna give it, give me the, she looked like a nice old lady. Pig pen partitions. Alliteration. Seven prize winning pigs are lazing about in a pen. To make sure that the pigs don't fight with each other, you've decided to section off the pen with three ropes. Can you hitch the ropes up to some of the posts below and separate each pig from his neighbor? Remember, not even a snout or curly tail can sneak over each partition. So we have three ropes and we need to separate seven pigs. Dope. Drag the stylus from one point to another to draw a line. When you finish sectioning off all the pigs, tap submit. All right, so there's seven pigs here. We need to divide them up. Let's see. Here's one. Here's two. Oh, I say, did I solve this that easily? I think that one's wrong. Instead of that one, I need this one. And I can go here. And then we can go. Oh, shoot. I was close. I'm so close. I did it. I did it in one shot. Oh, no. His, his nose is over. His nose is over. I'm pissed. Oh, no. And then these two aren't even divided. What I need very clearly is one of these ropes has to cross the other two. Two of them cross each other, and then the third rope crosses both of the other ones. That's the only way to make seven sections. Let's see. What if we go here? Here? No. Uh-uh. Instead of this one. Oh, no, wait. How about we go with this? Can we go this one? Uh-uh. That's not going to. Damn, this one's hard. Okay. Okay. Here. Damn it. Does that count? That little bit of his tail, that better not count. Here. If we go here. I think I need to redo this one. There we go. Oh, I don't have to clear it. Okay. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I feel like I'm close. I feel like I'm close here. Let's see. We can go here. Uh-uh. Because I'll still have three up there and I can't divide those. It's got to be something with this one. The fact that this one is here by itself tells me that one needs to be it. Ah, oh, shoot. I'm so close. I'm so close. Is that it? No, nope. that pig's in half. Did it. Did it. I did it. I did it. Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay, how about if we get rid of this one? We go here. Uh-uh. That doesn't do it. 
You see, we got those two by themselves in the middle at the top on the right side. Now I think I got it. Now I got it. Okay, did it. Every pig's by themselves. No one's crossing a line. Did it. How does this sound? What? I've let you down, Professor. Come on. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? I could have sworn. And now I don't even know. Yeah, I looked at the stream too late. Now I don't even know what I did wrong. Yeah, it won't let me see what I did. I think it's because this one and this one weren't completely separated. Like, he could still run around the back. If he won't be an asshole, he could run around the back. It can't be this peg because it's crossing over a pig. No matter where I... Unless it's this one. Is this the right one? This is what I did last time. It was this peg or something. And he could run around. This this can't be it. Because these pigs are together. That. That's it. No, it's not. You know, this is, this is, this is pretty damn hard. This is pretty damn hard. Give me a hint. Hit me up, baby. Since you have seven pigs just separating in three ropes, it's pretty much a given that ropes will have overlap. Go ahead and hitch the ropes up a couple of times. Once again, I already knew that. Look how the seven pigs are arranged. You see the one in the middle. In order to separate him from the other pigs, you're going to have to surround him rope on all sides. The three ropes need to be arranged in a way that they surround and isolate the middle pig. Once again, I already knew that one. That's actually more obvious than the first bit that you said. And this didn't work. This didn't work. Right, because he's still there. Okay, so let's see. I kind of want to rewind the stream and see what I did, because that was, I felt like that was it. I felt like that was it. Let me run it back. See what I do. I had I had this one, this one. No. Let's see. I had this one here. I had this one here. What if I just took this? all the way and then dang it I can't even see what I did this is madness this is true madness here let me see. And that doesn't work. We still got these two here. We need to surround this pig. 
What's going on, Mr. Scat? I see you in the stream. I see you in the chat. I'm trying to solve this puzzle. I don't know if you're familiar with Professor Layton and the Curious Village. I have three ropes, and I need to separate all seven pigs from each other. This separates the three there from the four. This separates. That separates there. And I still need to separate this. And this doesn't work. And this doesn't work. Is this what I tried? This isn't what I tried before because I was worried about being too close to this pig. This is the answer. If this isn't the answer, I don't know what it is. How does this sound? There it is. Okay. I did it. Yes. All right. Yeah, this game. This game is something else, boy. I must say, I'm very impressed. Here you go, then. Some fish bones, as I promised. Good luck with that cat. Yeah, these puzzles. This is only day one of this stream. This is only day one of this game's pushing it. Let's go find Claudia. It's a puzzle game, right? Yeah, it's nothing but puzzles. <laughs> I've had my high moments where I've, I've dominated the puzzle, and I've had moments where I feel like the puzzle was dominating me. Oh, I went the wrong way. I need to go back. Oh, Lord have mercy. This game was something else, boy. Find Claudia. Well, she's right here. Professor, there she is. Quickly, then, use the fish bones. Here, Claudia. Come here, girl. Oh, she cooperates, huh? We've done it, Professor. Here she comes. Excellent. Now we can head back to Reinhold Manor. See, I think, uh, I think I would like this game if I think they came out with three. They have, um... The most, the, I believe the two most recent are on 3DS. Uh, the first four, not entirely sure, are on the DS. And then there's a crossover that they have with Phoenix Wright that's on the 3DS. I played that one. That's the only latent game I played at all, the one that's the crossover. Having successfully caught Claudia, Professor Layton, and Luke decide to head back to Reinhold Manor. Uh, Manor. Are you becoming accustomed to moving around and investigating St. Mysteer? Here's some advice to keep your investigative investigation running smoothly. Some puzzles will disappear from their location in town as the story progresses. Good. Oh, but there's no need to worry. Most of the unsolved puzzles are sent to Granny Riddleton's shack in the village square. Visit often to track down puzzles you passed up and work towards completing every puzzle in the game. No. And you can't make me. Uh, so they sent two puzzles, the juice pitchers and the five card shuffle. All right. So eventually we'll go there and kill those. Something doesn't seem quite right, Professor. Professor, oh, it's simply awful. Come quickly, please. What's the matter, Matthew? If you're worried about that cat, we've brought her back safe and sound. Oh, well, Madam will be very happy to hear that. But this is no time to worry about a cat. J just hurry upstairs right this way, please. So you're the famous Professor Layton, then? The name's Chemley, Inspector Chemley. I'm the inspector on this case. Well, I'd hardly call it a case. If this is about Claudia, we've brought her back safe and sound. Oh, Claudia, my baby. Mama miss you so much. What's this cat doing here? Why on earth would you bring an animal to a crime scene? How some sense? We were out when this crime took place and don't know what's going on. Could you please fill us in? There's been a murder, Professor. A man was killed here. What? Who was murdered? The victim was a resident of this address, one Simon Reinhold. Simon was... Approximately two hours ago, I received a report that a man had collapsed at Reinhold Minor. Upon arrival at the scene, it was apparent that Simon was already dead. 
I see. In the cause of death? I'm currently conducting an investigation to look into it. I'll just let you know right now, Mr. Layton, I'm looking at you as a potential suspect as well. The rest of the details concerning this investigation are classified. Speaking of the details, who placed the call to the authorities? Are your ears clogged? You deaf? Didn't I just tell you those details are classified? Hmm? All right, everyone. I'll be taking statements from each of you in the other room. Come in one by one. And let me make this clear. Under no circumstances is anyone to leave until I've talked to everyone. This video was part of a stream. If you want to catch our streams live, make sure you subscribe to AltPlay as well as turn on notifications and follow at the AltPlay on Twitter. That way you can stay up to date on all changes.